hey, Weekly Walk viewers, as most of us have all had to do at this point is adapt to kind of our new normal. And for the weekly walks, the new normal is weekly. I'm going to call them Sharon Weekly Walks uh, sponsored by Zoom. We'll take a mental <laughs> walk instead of a, instead of a physical. Eric Yuan will love you for that. <laughs> exactly. Thanks to Harry, their CIO for full transparency. Um, Sharon and I tried to do this <laughs> earlier and had a little issues with the recording. So we're, uh, we're hoping that this one, this one uh, works for us. So I am here with, with Sharon Mandel, CIO at TIBCO, my first weekly walk and there she's got Tibco in the background I'm like I got nothing in the background here um my very first weekly walk sponsored by zoom guest how are you I, I'm well and um this is actually our Tibco Pune Commerce Zone office but uh I've been playing I've been playing around with backgrounds and so I have some official backgrounds and some less official background. <laughs> I have, I've got no background here. So. I can be in Swan Lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can be back in Pattaya Beach where there's this very exotic wooden temple by the ocean. <laughs> or uh, we can do graphic design. But uh, for this call, we'll stick, we'll stick with, with my company. Yeah. Right now, that's good. You can talk about your company. All right. So CIO at Tibco, CIO, very hot role these days, especially, you know, for, for companies that were open views looking at B2B SaaS companies, they always want to talk to the CIO and, and everyone, you're definitely in the, the hottest job, but you know, so many people I'm sure talk to you about, you know, how do you sell to the CIO and what do I need to know to get your business? But I would love to know from you as sort of what is one thing that people really aren't talking about in your role that you, you know, they, you wish they were doing, they were talking more about. <laughs> Well, uh, we weren't talking much about employee experience and working from home until <laughs> a couple weeks ago, <laughs> and now uh, we're all living it. Uh, yeah. yeah, so so more on that. So how has kind of this transition to work from home gone, you know, for you guys? And as a CIO, were you, you know, prepared for it? Has it been a smooth of a transition and kind of what can others be learning from CIOs at this time around this sort of work from home thing, which is new for a lot of people. So I, I think we were actually pretty well prepared um, because we had moved to a lot of um, tools like Zoom, like Slack, um, tools that for our general day-to-day -day collaboration and work didn't require people to be in the building. Um, I'd say it's been easier for the United States and Europe and India. They have a very different set of connectivity issues, which we are um, working to address in the small gaps that we have where people didn't have um, home connectivity to get in. We've had to do a little bit of VPN expansion um, using the cloud for that uh, rather than buying new hardware, which has long lead times right now thinking about processes differently, like onboarding new employees. And, um, you know, what do you do for the people who forgot something at the office or what equipment are they allowed to take home and not take home? Those are all questions that are coming up. And I think we're all working hard to address. And I think, you know, we're very focused on keeping people productive and as much business as usual as we can possibly do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, you know, I think it's possible today. I think the hardest thing is now thinking about the ideas to not lose the social fabric of the company, right? Um, I'm moving at 100 miles an hour, so it's easy. It's easy for me to like forget to say hello, which normally would have happened in the hallway somewhere, and just like dive into questions. So you know, thinking about social graces, being flexible as people have children at home. Um, we're trying to think of ideas to make it more fun. You know, do we have a virtual happy hour? Um, people are doing, I think many people have seen this, like, you know, showing their pets in the Zoom meeting, yeah. and, uh, little town halls to just bring groups together that used to meet around the water cooler and yeah. trying to make things while virtual as normal as possible. Yeah, so you're kind of like the cruise director. Are you? Gonna... <laughs> That's what I, I said to my boss. I'll be the pandemic cruise director for this. CIO, show. the new cruise director of, <laughs> of, of, of virtual remote. Well, and it's not. Look, at, I, I have to say, it's not just me, right? I, I mean, I'm doing a lot from an operational standpoint, but uh, you know, we quickly, while we've been doing email and Slack announcements about everything and making sure our employees can see things from our 
website or, you know, are not our employees, but our customers can see things from our website and, and inside our, our customer support site. Um, we, we quickly built, um, and I stole this idea from a couple of my other CIOs, an internal kind of COVID-19 hub so that while we're making all these announcements, people don't have to scroll through what was in the Slack channel three days ago. There's a place you can go to. And it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't me who did that work. I just called upon a great cross-functional team with a bunch of different perspectives. And I think that's what we need to lean on. You know, we're, we're in you know, diverse organizations, people bring different skills to the table, making sure, you know, you're not trying to do it all on your own, but you're leveraging everyone in your organization uh, to bring that to the table. And it's been really fun to watch here at our company because they've been just doing a great job. That's good. That's great to hear. My uh, other question for you kind of in, in this time and not solely focusing on this um, sort of you know, pandemic, because I'm sure people are, are sick of hearing about it to an extent, but how has that changed, you know, for a lot of these early stage companies who are selling to companies like Tibco, how, you know, what should they be keeping in mind now as they're also trying to build a business? You know, is, is this still the right time? Is this not the right time? Should they just be, you know, you know, making sure they're doing research on who they're selling to. As a CIO, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so, you know, I think we're all watching what's going on in the economy and money is going to be tight. So thinking about what you really have to do and not have to do and when you're sending out your marketing campaigns and spending time and money on that, um, is this the right time for that message? So, you know, Someone said, oh, well, my inbox has gone down to zero because, you know, we're all using Slack now because it's a quicker, you know, faster way to do things. Um, well, that hasn't happened to me because I'm still <laughs> getting, I, I, I'm getting a lot of vendor calls because obviously they're, they're concerned about pipeline drying up. But, you know, some of them I kind of laugh at. I'm like, well that has no relevance in the current thing. So, you know, timing things, letting people get over, if your product isn't directly um, relevant to what's going on right now, how do you not be spending and wasting a lot of money when nobody's going to pay attention? Yeah. Um, and maybe focus on getting that new set of features in that are going to be really critical as you come out of this. Because, you know, downturns are often a time to kind of be lean think about what's really important and be ready for the uptick because it's going to be like a draught for now because we're all focused on just keeping things up and running at least these initial few weeks. Right. Um, and Great. hopefully this goes, goes away soon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully every country is doing what they need to do and we're back, um, you know, back in business like normal very quickly. So use this, use this down, use this downtime as unfortunate it is to, to, you know, really hone in on your product and what yep. your product looks like in, you know, three, six and 12 months. All right. And then most importantly, a fun question, because I feel like we all need, we all need a little bit of, of fun in this world. What is your favorite Zoom background? Because we are, you just showed us a couple, but if you had to pick one, I mean, clearly mine, as we pointed out, is very lame and I need to work on this for my next weekly walk sponsored by Zoom. But since we're all on Zoom. Well, well I, my, my favorite things are to go back in some of my recent travels that have been fun and interesting. Yeah. And I, I'm trying not to only have one, right? And, um, but, you know, this morning the lighting and my outfit was, because I wasn't quite ready for prime time when I had to take my first call today, was a little bit like this. But, uh, you know, I like to go bright and sunny too. So um, I'm mostly going to things in, in my, you know, pictures I've taken that I really like for travel. And now when I'm out walking the dog, I'm looking to create some some new ones that could be just more evergreen. But I'm actually having fun with the change-ups. <laughs> See, there's uh, always trying to find the, the, the positives here and, and some negative things. So go. I've seen, I've, I've seen, I've seen people have animal house behind them. <laughs> I've, I've seen all sorts of crazy stuff. I promise I will try to have a better Zoom background than the, uh, the beige wall. And we will see y'all soon. Sharon, thanks for being my, my inaugural virtual weekly walk guest. You were awesome. Thank we'll you. See you guys soon. Bye.